Welcome to the channel. Today's episode, we've got another spec Miata. Now this one has the Gulf livery on it and we're doing a little bit of everything. We're going to be replacing some panels, we're going to be repairing some panels, and also some paintwork. So stay tuned. We're on our way back from OPM. Let's get this thing to the shop so we can get it unloaded and start working on it. So as you can see here, the bumper's got a bulge there. It's also got some stress cracks in the plastic. And there's a bulge over here, so we're going to be replacing this rear bumper cover. The right door here is going to be repaired. You can see where it's smashed in here. And on the fender, we're going to be replacing because it's damaged everywhere. We're also going to be replacing this front bumper cover along with the lower spoiler because the damage on this doesn't warrant repairing. We're also going to be replacing this here, this little aluminum piece. So let's get this thing up on some jack stands and start taking it apart. Got the new fender bolted up here. And the reason why I did that is because you see how far the door's in. Now we know how far to pull the door out to where it meets the new fender. And then we can do our repair work. So I'm gonna be using this big slide hammer to pull out the door. I'm gonna have to change out this hook. Let's grab the other one out of the toolbox. So this one just threads off and I've got the other one just has a little small lip there that I can reach inside the door and pull it out. Just thread this one on here. And the way the slide hammer works, this is basically a big heavy weight. You can hook it where you want it to pull, and hit it with the slide hammer and it pulls it out. Alright, so we've got the metal work done on the door. We've got the door off the car. So let's get this thing wiped with filler, get it sanded so we can get everything primed. The filler work is done, so now let's get this thing taped up so we can get it primed. We're also going to be priming the new slash used parts, which consist of the front spoiler, the front bumper cover, and the rear bumper cover.
got these spec Miata parts all primed up. We're going to spray some guy coat on them. Let them dry overnight. We'll come in in the morning, get these things blocked with 220, and then we can DA320 them, and then we can put them in the booth. We spray a guide coat on these primer parts because when you're sanding it, these little black specks give you a visual representation of what is high and what is low. All right, so it's the next morning. I'm going to get me a couple cups of coffee in me. We're going to block these parts with 220, and then we're going to 320 DA them so we can get them in the paint booth. brother's got those parts in the booth. They're all taped up. They're all wiped down. So what's left for me to do is get my paint suit on. We're going to blow off those parts and get them all tacked off. And then we can start by spraying one coat of gray sealer, followed by the orange on the bottom of the fender and on the lower front spoiler. All right, so we've got the orange sprayed on here, so I'm gonna take this off so that I can start painting the blue. All right, so we got all the blue sprayed on there. It's already flashed off. So now we can start taking off this tape off the bottom of the fender where the orange is. We can also bring in that front lower spoiler, set it back up so we can clear everything. So if you're wondering why I took that lower spoiler and set it outside the booth, I just don't want to get any blue overspray on it. And you've got two choices. You can either cover it up or you can set it outside the booth. So I decided to set it outside the booth. All right, so we got the last coat of clear put on those parts. Let's go check them out.
So these parts look really good. We're going to let these things dry overnight, come in in the morning and start putting this thing back together. Okay, so it's the next morning. Let's get this thing put together and get that dark blue stripe put on the lower rocker. We've got this thing all put back together, so let's get it loaded onto the trailer and get this thing delivered back to OPM so they can put the rest of the graphics on it. Children are like canoes. They go a whole lot straighter if you paddle from behind. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel and this is the first time you're ever seeing me, consider subscribing and ringing that bell notification. That way you won't miss any future content. If you have any thoughts or questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. See ya!